So hey guys, I'm back here again and today I have kind of like a very introductory video where I'm gonna teach some syntax for HTML and basically it's the most basic things you can do and even some CSS so if you guys like if you guys are starting web development if you if it is your first time working with HTML this would be a very beneficial video so yeah let's get started so the first thing you need to do if you want to start with web development is get a text editor it's basically where you're gonna write your code in my case i would advise sublime text which is very simple it is really good to get started with i still use it this day i think it's one of the best out there but it doesn't really matter which one you choose just choose one of the best ones and you'll be fine so the link is going to be down below but you can just write sublimetext.com and click on download that you'll be able to get it onto your computer so i have it right here and um, no. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is basically create a, a, a local server inside of your computer. So what does that mean is, you know, when you public, have you ever questioned like, oh, I want to create a website, but I want to keep change, making change to, changes to it and see it happening in real life, but I don't want to publish it yet. You know what I mean? So the way you do this is create a simple local server inside of your computer where you can take a look at the website while you're coding on it. So... I don't know for Windows, I, I know it's pretty easy to do it. You can just search on Google, but at least for Mac, which is where I'm on, you can just write terminal and open the terminal and just write this simple command, Python negative M simple HTTP server. So you don't need to understand what this is. Just know that it is basically um, creating a local server inside of your computer and press enter. So as you can see, it says serving HTTP on port 8000. And I can just go here and write on any browser and write localhost 8000. And when I click enter, you can see that it shows all my folders in my computer. So what this means is we need to create a folder for our website. And the way we do this is by going to somewhere in our computer. I'm gonna do it in the desktop and create a new folder, call it something like website and give it like a better name. I'm just doing this for simplistic reasons. And when you come here and you refresh, you can see that this folder just appeared here. So when I click it, you can see it's empty. So we need to create a file, an HTML file inside of it. The way we do this is by going to our text editor, Sublime in our case, and opening the folder we just created. So let's go there and open website. And we can right click on this and click on new file. And when we try to save it, in my case, I just click uh, press command S. I just give it a name, main.html. And the important thing is giving it the extension .html because your computer will know it is an HTML file, it is a website, and uh, Sublime will know it too because Sublime has some good uh, functionalities inside of it where it will like autocorrect and uh, fill in for, for for HTML tags. So when I save it, you can see it was just created and if we refresh, it appears here. But when we click on it, it's an empty website, it's nothing. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the most simple uh, HTML tags, but also the most important ones. These are the ones you're gonna be using and what do they mean and how to use them in a website. I'm not gonna really be styling my website, so that's why the website will be pretty ugly, but this is just to get you guys started. So the first thing you need to do in an HTML file is literally write HTML. And in Sublime, it all feels for you, so if it doesn't on your text editor, just copy whatever it's over here. It's basically the structure for an HTML file. You can see that on every HTML tag, you start it and you finish it, um, and everything in between of them is basically what exists in between those tags. So we open an HTML tag, which means that we open an HTML file and we close it by basically writing the same thing, but with a slash be be like right in front of the name. And it already comes with other tags such as head. Head is where 
you write your title for your website your title i mean this like the name over here and also where you link all your scripts and your styling uh, your styling sheets and i'll teach you guys later but this re isn't really important for right now so if you want for example to write a title i'll just write here website cool website cool website and if we refresh you can see that the name changes up here so congratulations this is the first thing you've done on an html file and let's see what are good tags and good and important tags you, you guys need to learn uh, first of all remember that everything between but the body tag is basically what you're going to be writing it's what's going to be appearing on your website so make sure you're inside of it and write a header which is like a title like a, a, a text appearing largely on your screen as like a title so how you do this is you write h1 this is one of the first tags you learn and this you can just write my website title and you see that this is between the two tags and this means that it is a header so if we save this you can see that it appears here my website title obviously this is not on the middle of the screen it has a bad font i don't like the the pixel size like the font size but again just for html purpose this is how it's gonna look so if you want to create a button you just write a button and write something like this is a button and when you refresh it it appears here this is a button you click on it but it doesn't do anything because we haven't attributed anything to it i'm gonna make more tutorials teaching you guys how to do st stuff like this but it just serves as like a, a like a, an html purpose and okay what else can we do if you want to write a paragraph like a like a something like something big on your website you can just write the tag p and i'm just writing like whatever um this is basically so you guys can see that it appears like a paragraph so if i write command s again to save and again when i'm refreshing my website you can't forget to click command s or to save your file i can go here refresh it and it appears as like a paragraph would what else would be good let me see if you want to create a text text area literally just write text area and a text area would appear where you can write stuff you can even like resize it if you want and it's pretty cool um let's see what else a very important thing on an html file it is part of styling it is basically putting stuff into containers containers basically means that uh, certain parts of your website will be enclosed will be put together with it like certain elements in your website would be put together and how you create a container would be with a div tag this just says that this is one of your divisions basically so if i want to put everything inside of this div it means that everything would be inside of here and i can create other divs it's basically to organize your website this this you shouldn't worry that much about this right now it's more important when you're doing css but it's just so you guys understand and let me see what else if you want to put an image that's important just put image and write like a source for your for your image let me get a random image um let me see html i icon i'm gonna research this and go to images and get this and let me copy this link um let me put it here Okay, this is huge. I don't even know if this, no, this isn't what I want. I want to copy, the copy link address. I just copied the wrong thing. Wait, copy link address. You guys basically understand what I'm doing. Copy it and click it here. Whenever I re re restart this, um, let me put this inside of here too. Okay, so you guys can see that <laughs> the image is appearing right here. It's because it's not record, not rec recognizing it as a as a an image right now, but because I'm I'm getting it from the computer. But basically, all images would be inside of your your folder would be inside of here. So I don't have an image right now, 
um, so it wouldn't make sense. I can get one. Let me see. Dot. Let me get one picture. Dot PNG. Uh, let's get a <laughs> this, which is a, a Unity <laughs> logo, and put it inside of website. Let me get here and just put it here. Change the name to logo. Save it and. If I just literally write it here, uh, logo.png, the image will appear. And as you guys can see, it appears. You can also add a video. There's a bunch of tags, but these are the most important ones. And literally, I need to add the controls. SRC and controls. So you can see that video appears here. There's again, not a video, so nothing will be played here. So these are the main HTML, HTML tags. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be making more videos, which are more tutorials for uh, CSS and HTML. Also other computer science videos, but this is a good way to get started. If you guys want, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I would enjoy it so much. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one.